If you were ChatGPT Plus subscriber, you may have noticed a significant change, the removal of the web browsing plugin. The cause behind this is a recent class action lawsuit initiated by a law firm based in California against OpenAI. Let's dive deeper. The lawsuit accuses OpenAI of extensive copyright and privacy infringement. It asserts that OpenAI improperly used a vast array of internet data, including social media comments, blog posts, Wikipedia articles, and even family recipes to train its AI models. The plaintiff argues that OpenAI has leveraged this data without the expressed permission of the individuals who originally authored these pieces. As a result, the allegation is that OpenAI has unjustly profited from this data, leading to the current legal complications. Ryan Clarkson, the managing partner at the law firm leading the charge, is seeking court intervention to establish rules around AI algorithm training and compensation mechanisms for data contributors. This lawsuit could pose considerable challenges to OpenAI's operations. We've witnessed similar situations with Adobe, a discussion we elaborated in our Adobe vs Canva video. You can find the video linked in the description and the i button above. The lawsuit highlights an ongoing debate regarding the use of publicly available data to train AI tools. Some industry insiders argue this is fair use under copyright law, as the data undergoes transformative changes. However, this case primarily criticizes OpenAI for its alleged lack of transparency with users about potential commercial uses of their data. It also questions OpenAI's compliance with regulations pertaining to users under the age of 13. This legal challenge isn't unique. Several companies monetizing AI technology have faced similar lawsuits recently. OpenAI, being at the forefront of AI development, could set precedents that affect other tech companies following similar practices. The controversy around data scraping for AI training is growing. Regulators and other stakeholders are discussing potential laws that mandate greater transparency about the types of data utilized in AI models. OpenAI and Microsoft face a significant lawsuit from anonymous plaintiffs who accuse them of illicitly scraping vast internet data, including unconsented personal information. The lawsuit alleges that OpenAI is violating privacy laws, the Company Fraud and Abuse Act, the Electronics Communications Privacy Act, and more. The claim suggests a possible payout of up to $3 billion, implying widespread harm. OpenAI is accused of theft for training its AI products, like ChatGPT, on personal data from millions, including minors without consent. The lawsuit maintains that both OpenAI and Microsoft continue to gather personal data unlawfully to enhance their products. The case criticizes OpenAI's deviation from its original principle of advancing AI for humanity's maximum benefit. The company's pursuit of profits and alleged disregard for privacy and consent, the plaintiffs argue, have resulted in unjust enrichment and privacy invasions. Microsoft, with its planned $13 billion investment in OpenAI, is implicated as a co-defendant. Specific OpenAI-developed AI tools used by Microsoft are also mentioned. The plaintiffs demand several actions, including halting commercial access and further development of OpenAI's products, data collection disclosure, adherence to ethical principles, and data theft compensation. The lawsuit draws parallels with a Clearview AI case, emphasizing concerns about unregulated AI's potential threats. The case argues that the law's enforcement isn't about stifling AI innovation, but paving the way for a safe and just AI future. Previous legal confrontations involving Microsoft and OpenAI include GitHub and OpenAI being sued for allegedly violating open source licenses. GitHub Copilot, a related case, also faces a lawsuit for similar allegations of copyright infringement. The judge suggested that if the complaint facts were true, it would indicate a violation of open source licenses under which the developers publish their code. The plaintiffs in that case seek financial compensation and an induction against GitHub Copilot's use of their code. OpenAI and Microsoft, like other tech giants, must provide a comprehensive account of how our data is used. Trust in these organizations hinges on transparency and adherence to ethical practices. As the field of artificial intelligence or AI expands at a rapid pace, 
Robust global privacy laws are essential to protect our rights and address concerns about AI's societal impact. If personal data is harnessed for AI training, tech companies should seek informed consent. This goes beyond accepting terms and conditions. It requires clear communication about the kind of data needed and its intended use. Data collection should be minimized to what's essential for a specific purpose, reducing the risk of privacy invasion. Users should have the power to choose their level of engagement, moving away from a one-size-fits-all user experience. The era of blindly agreeing to terms and conditions must come to an end. Seriously, if personal data is being used for AI training, explicit consent is non-negotiable. This implies a clear explanation of data usage, and the recent allegations against OpenAI and Microsoft emphasize the urgent need for this shift. In the realm of AI development, public data, which is information readily accessible on the internet, is a key resource for training AI models. The argument is that publicly available data indexed by search engines should be open for AI developers' use. This might posit that language models, like GPT, are essentially a more advanced type of search engine. Websites often employ a robots.txt file to outline which parts can be crawled and indexed by search engines or bots. If a site doesn't explicitly disallow crawling, it might be assumed that public data from the site is fair for AI training use. But there may be a distinction between indexing data for search purposes and using it to train a commercialized model. This scenario raises concerns about data equity and potential misuse, as there seems to be an imbalance in how individuals' data and corporations' data are treated after being shared online. This murky area extends beyond AI. When learning from a source and producing similar content, it's challenging to democrate learning and direct copying. The legal and ethical implications are intricate and could significantly impact creative and technological sectors. According to copyright law, the Fair Use Doctrine allows for the utilization of copyrighted material under specific circumstances, such as commentary, criticism, news reporting, and scholarly research. An important factor in determining fair use is whether the usage is transformative in nature, wherein it introduces new expression, meaning, or message to the original work. In this light, training an AI model could be seen as transformative use of text data, the model learns from the text and generates new original outputs. The use of this data might even serve as a public benefit by advancing AI technology. Public opinion varies greatly regarding the lawsuit against Microsoft and OpenAI. Some argue that the case may falter due to the transformative nature of AI models, which repurpose data to generate new and creative outcomes. This is akin to how platforms like Google or ImageUR uses text or images for public benefit. OpenAI's proprietary AI corpus of personal data, WebText2, is accused of having indiscriminately scraped extensive amounts of data from Reddit posts and their associated links, allegedly including sensitive information like medical records and child-related data. However, others maintain that this case is distinct due to the alleged misuse of personal data and the potential harm it could inflict on individuals. Microsoft and OpenAI stand accused of collecting, using, and disclosing personal data without sufficient consent, violating several legal frameworks. The companies allegedly scraped enormous quantities of internet data, including personal information, for AI model training, then integrated this data into their AI products potentially exposing people's private lives to worldwide audiences. The plaintiffs are seeking damages of up to $3 billion subject to the court's findings. The question of who will receive the money if the plaintiff's triumph remains unanswered. It's worth noting that while Microsoft is a registered data broker through Bing, it does not own OpenAI outright. The General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, in Europe has already established more stringent control over publicly available data. However, the US still lags in updating its regulatory framework. Some speculate that this lawsuit might stem from a company's intent to safeguard its data harvesting profits or competition from another AI firm. A broader discussion about the legal implications of AI models reproducing code and potential copyright infringement is crucial.
AI development is advancing swiftly, often outpacing legislation. Companies like OpenAI, with significant resources, may continue to navigate legal challenges for a while. Yet, these debates and lawsuits emphasize the urgency of timely and comprehensive legislation that addresses these complex matters. This situation underscores the significance of data privacy, the necessity of obtaining consent when using personal data, and the critical importance of ethical AI use. As AI further integrates into our lives, it is paramount that companies balance innovation and respective privacy. And here we are at the end of the video. If you like the quality of our content, please consider liking and sharing the video and subscribing to our channel as it helps us provide you consistent content.